What's going on guys? So I want to apologize in advance because there's some construction going on and I honestly don't know when that shit is going to end and I sort of had to record now because I got shit to do later. So try to bear with me. We got a new death battle. Obito versus Darth Vader. Obito versus Darth Vader. To be honest, man, although the characters are similar... I don't think this is like a good fight, to be honest. I mean, it sorta is, but like Vader, isn't he like star level or some shit like that? And Obito's just planetary? I don't know, let's give it a shot. Let's see what Death Battle does. Darth Vader, Dark Lord of the Sith. Obito Uchiha, Damn. Leader of the this is in both interesting and weird at the same time. Yo, Kakashi got folded by Obi Wan. Like, come on now. As a child among the harsh wastes of Tatooine, Anakin longed to one day free his fellow slaves as a heroic Jedi. Lucky for him, he met Qui Gon Jinn, a Jedi who believed little Annie was the chosen one and would. Episode one was pretty alright. Darth Maul was so cool. Like, that's where his character. Stop being cool. He just looks cool. Everything about him is shit. Fucking jobber. Through rigorous training and a not unnoticeable natural talent, Anakin was particularly skilled in the form five lightsaber fighting styles. Jen and Jem So. Also known as the way of the Craig Dragon. Oh. Is emulating his movements and shit. I guess. Form five is incredibly versatile. Well suited for defending against lightsaber and blaster alike. It focuses on blending parries with devastating counterattacks. <laughs> win duels through overwhelming pressure. Throw a kid into space monk school and expect him to forget everyone he ever cared about, right? Well, apparently that's what he was supposed to do. The Being a Jedi kind of sucks. Difficult and cold, something Anakin could not accept. And so, rather than let his secret wife die in childbirth, he was seduced to the dark side through the promise of power. And so began his Jedi Oh, history. God. Until Obi yeah. became a glorious lava bath. How uh, refreshing. But thanks to his new Sith master, Palpatine, our young warrior was saved. The surgery. Rebuilt. He was now Darth Vader. Vader is a badass. Everyone knows it, and they're terrified of him. I mean, just look at the guy. As impressive as his armor appears, you might be surprised by its the quirks. See, while the Jedi view the Force as an ally, the Sith see it as a tool from which they draw power through passion and emotion. Most potently, negative emotions. Palpatine trained Vader by not only making him believe he killed his wife, but also ensuring he would never forget the monstrous machine he had become. Damn. Making the suit suck ass and piss him off. I heard that. I heard, uh... Palpatine gave him a shitty suit. Like, there's a superior version of the Darth Vader armor. Sidious fucking Palpatine gave him the shitty version. So he couldn't surpass him. That's what I heard. I think it's in the comics. Vader hates this suit. The armor would beep at random times just to annoy him. And the life support system was outdated from the start. Sometimes it would even turn off for several minutes. Jesus. Thanks to the dark side of the force, he can make maelstroms that blast everything away. Form barriers that shield from all sorts of attacks. And choke anything that's even a minor inconvenience. Hell, sometimes you skip straight to crushing your lungs. One time, a droid named I-5 tried to kill that's a laser stated to move 300,000 kilometers per second. That's a laser. All right. One time, he blasted off most of Vader's robo limbs, destroyed his armor, dropped him back on the lava planet, and told him to make his way back without the Force. An impossible task, yet one Vader accomplished. Damn. Yeah, because he really, really, really wants to kill Palpatine. <laughs> that hatred is apparently useful in keeping Force wielders alive, and has sustained many Sith in condition. Palpatine's pretty dumb, like... I know, like, you sort of need that hatred to become a Sith, but to make your own apprentice hate you specifically, pretty fucking stupid. He could have directed that hatred anywhere else, but he chose to direct it at himself. <laughs> oh, God. Was he that confident that Vader wouldn't surpass him? Lesser dark side users like the Night Sister Sherrall overpowered the Sunstar, an ancient artifact capable of shifting moons. A feat which would require 
require energy worth over 12 septillion tons of TNT. That's 24 zeros. But if you want But that's nothing, right? That's nothing. I mean, isn't Vader like far superior to that? He should be beyond planetary. Something more recent. Here's a planet blowing up while Vader was on it. And he's fine. But thanks to he Oh my god, I didn't know he was on an exploding planet. That's different. His incredible power, this is Ninjutsu. Among its many techniques include elemental attacks. And the Uchiha specialize in all things fire. fire. Big fireballs, small fireballs, waves of fire, columns of fire. You name it, they've got it. So when Ninja World War III they came truly out, it totally made sense to get represent the will of fire, huh? The age of 11. Yikes. Literally. <laughs> lucky for Obito, he had one more secret weapon up his sleeve. Er, I suck it. The Sharingan. That shit came a little too late. Precise vision, allowing someone to see the flow of chakra, predict an enemy's attacks, cast a variety of genjutsu illusions, and even break out of said illusions. Too bad he didn't get to use the red eyes much. Like ten and minutes two after he too. got the damn things, he got smushed under a big rug. What a way to go! But I feel like if that was Sasuke, he would have been able to dodge the rock. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like with the Sharing gun activated, if that was Sasuke. He definitely would have been able to, <laughs> to touch the rock. Man was in a bed long enough to grow hair. Oh, what a swell guy. Except he was not. Gekyo gave him a new jutsu called Kamui. With it, he can suck his foes into another dimension and leave them there to die. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is just funny to me for some reason. in a manner that's similar to the common phasing superpower due to the Flash or Kitty Pryde. In reality, it's much more yeah. complex, as Obito is actually teleporting parts of his body into the Kamui dimension whenever they overlap with other matter. Yeah. There's his body really swapping these things around like a prime sub on Twitch. This Renegon grants Obito the power of the six paths. They're gonna give him the Tell Beast? Yo, they wouldn't do that. Nah, they can't do that. <laughs> they can't. <laughs> They can't give him his, his fucking six paths. That's too much. Is it too much, though? I think so. Definitely not going to give him ten tiles. Maybe. They gave it to Madara when he, against Aizen. Never seen him put up with the hood again. Just had that hood that one time. Never had it ever again after that. You know, I I actually thought the Ten Tails was gonna be black when it pulled up. I thought it was just gonna be some black fucking monster that you'd see under your bed. Like it was just gonna be some nightmare fuel monster, and it just turned out to be some wooden looking fucking thingy. This shit looks way more scary. Yo. Like look at this shit. God damn, just some black creature. <laughs> Yeah. Kind of looks like Chicago. The Ten Tails possesses tremendous power. It can create massive thunderstorms and hurricanes, multiple clones of itself, and the devastating Tell Beast Bomb. Forget bomb. That's basically a super nuke. This chakra ball is so explosive, it can eclipse continents and reduce mountains to dust. Comparing the surface area of this blast to the surrounding mountains, dispersing that much mass within a fraction of a second must have. This should also mention that uh, his version of. Becoming a 10 tell Shinchuriki isn't complete. Hopefully. They're really gonna give this man the W, aren't they? That's 24 zeros. Giving this man hella help. Yep, they're giving it to him. Becoming its Jinchuriki. This little makeover granted him unlimited flight, power rivaling the legendary Sage of Six Paths, and the His form is incomplete compared to Madara's though. Um Damn, they're really not uh the truth seeking orbs can completely disintegrate anything they touch. Yeah, those hacks are pretty crazy. Spiritual level. Only those with the power of the six paths can resist their effects. Yeah, Obito's definitely clapping, I think. From the data through all possibilities. It's time for a death battle. All right, let's see how they fucking do this. Storm models always look weird outside of their game. Save this cursed world. 
have to pry it from my cold, dead hands. Then you will die. What? <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Would a lightsaber really cut that? Oh no, he never he doesn't know how to use the Uchiha reflection technique. What the fuck? <laughs> Ouch! Holy fuck! Vader not worried. He's gonna compress it? Holy shit! Still exploded though. Wait, he could tank an exploding planet. Okay, this is actually kind of cool. Like how Darth Vader has one eye exposed. Samira Obito. Yeah, like physically he can't do anything to those two seeking orbs. Okay. <laughs> Using his Starfighter? Sci Fighter, whatever the fuck it's called. Nah. Yeah, I figured. Really? Wow! That's crazy! Holy, he got him in an infinite Tsukuyomi! Great sword of Nuno Boko. He doesn't even know he's dying. That's crazy. Oh shit. KO! Well, Vader may have been able to beat Obi-Wan, but he just couldn't handle Obi-2. This was a fairly complex match. Like I said, I'm not really a Star Wars uh expert, so I can't really tell you if they fucked up or not, to be honest. I'm just telling you what I've heard from other sources. Uh, I'll let you guys decide if this was actually valid or not. Other Vader could simply force crush Obito's body, That's true. But Obito could just as easily rip out Vader's soul. I forgot about Obito that. Had a few more impressive options available to him, edging out just the model is so good for Obito. Like, CyberConnect did such a great job. Just to touch, let alone injure. And as a gin turkey, he can Even though it looks fucking ugly outside of Storm. <laughs> While the dark side could help Vader survive extreme conditions, it obviously can't regrow limbs. Plus, thanks to his wide array of jutsu, All the characters look ugly outside of the game. Overwhelm Vader. While Chakra's Who's next? Click the join button to get new Who's next? Planet level members even see death battles before. <clears throat> this hope is fire. What the hell is that? Dark Phoenix? Oh, shit! Oh, that's gonna be a good one. That's gonna be fucking fire! Holy shit! I'm surprised they're not, uh... Putting Raven up against Scarlet Witch. But this is, this is good, too. Holy shit! Alright, we in this! We in this! Let's get it! 
I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on it, but I'll definitely watch the shit. Unlike the last one, <laughs> I did not watch it. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright, guys, let me know what you guys think about this death battle. Um, I fucked with both of them, so in terms of my bias, I honestly didn't care who the fuck came out on top. I just don't know how valid this actually is. I'm just not sure. Like, everything sounded like it made sense. But when you contribute all the other factors that they didn't factor in, it sort of makes you raise a brow, you know? But that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, other shit. Peace.